Thank God we have something to give, right? Amen. Amen. It's hard to give it if you don't have none. Amen. But you know, I hear Brother Copeland testify that when he was in a uh, meeting with uh, Oral Roberts, he didn't have any money to give. Now, Oral Roberts, now Brother Copeland, I mean, well over into the. I don't even. I don't know if he's in the billion, but he's in the high in the million. And anyway, but at the time he had nothing, and uh, so he had a pencil, you know, in the back of the pew. Yeah. <laughs> There's a pencil in the back of the pew to do it right out your, you know, your whatever there. And so he put that in the plate as he came around as his offering. And then at the end of the service, a lady gave him $10. I don't know, maybe it was $20, $10, $20. $20. And he ran up to talk to the usher and said, uh, how much was it? Ten. He, he caught the usher and wanted his pencil back and gave the ten dollars. <laughs> but uh, you know he gave something and then by faith and it released him and he was able to give more. So uh, we thank God we have something to give. Hallelujah. And that which we have to give grows because God multiplies it, and we are thankful for that. Hallelujah. I want to thank you for your support during the year 2011. It's had some trials, but uh, we are victorious. Amen. Amen. And uh, I appreciate your faithfulness in your attendance and in your giving. And uh, pray for you daily that God would bless you and prosper you and keep you. And I know He does. Hallelujah. Because we know that God answers our prayers, don't we? Amen. Amen. Turn to Deuteronomy chapter 6. We are now in the year 2012. That is amazing, isn't it? Hallelujah. I remember when there was the big scare. The year 2000. You know, whenever everybody thought all the computers were going to crash. And, you know, we were going to all be in trouble because it was changing over from 1999 to 2000. And they didn't know how the computers would handle it. And, uh, so I remember that, and I'm thinking now that's 12 years ago. Wow, yeah. Yeah. amazing! Yeah. Seems like it was just yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> I remember Happy Caldwell tells a story about uh, they were having a New Year's Eve service that night, and uh, his wife was up singing. She sings very well. She was up singing the song, and it was right at midnight. <laughs> And all of a sudden, the power went out. <laughs> and so she just kept singing. She didn't stop. She just kept singing. And uh, it's, it's at midnight, and everybody's going, oh, Y2K is hit. <laughs> Come to find out, somebody hit a telephone pole down the road and knocked the power out. <laughs> but uh, the devil had the timing there. It was right at the time where... If they hadn't been grounded in the Lord, they would have maybe started to be conservative. Maybe some of them did, I don't know. But, uh, you know, we don't go by what it appears, do we? We walk by faith. Just like Pastor James says, whatever happens in the world system is going to happen, but it's not uh, going to affect us. Not like it does the world. We might feel some effects, but we walk by faith and not by sight. And so we have our eyes on Jesus and uh, our confession right and we stay victorious because um, in the coming years the world is going to see more problems it's going to see more issues and in fact our country is going to see some because our debt is 15 trillion dollars it's not 15 million. It's not 15 billion. 15 trillion. I couldn't even count that. I don't even know how to write it. I probably could write it. But it's huge. And it's growing all the time. This is a, it's like blowing up a balloon. And the balloon's getting bigger and bigger. And you know, in the, sometime in the near next few breaths, that balloon's going to pop. So what I'm saying to you is that make it your goal this year, 2012, before that balloon pops, 
to learn how to depend on God. Amen. 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 Not yeah. the almighty dollar. Amen. The dollar <laughs> is in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. I'm saying that to encourage you this morning, not to frighten you. Because we trust God, right? Right, 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 right. right. Mm-hmm. If He has to order the ravens to come and feed us, oh, we'll that's right. Be right. Be right. Be be but you, you got to settle it in your heart now, see, before the the attack happens. The hurricane hits, whatever you want to call it, the balloon bursts. You got to settle it now. That's right. Now, while I'm talking about that, we have elections coming up. And I think January 3rd is the last opportunity you have to sign up for the coming election uh, to vote who you want for the primary. But I, I may not be 100% right in that, but January 3rd is the last time you can register for something. I think it's the primary. So, if you're not a registered voter, then you need to go get it. Go get registered. And vote. Because... Um, your vote counts. I remember when in the elections with Bush, Florida was the deciding state. And maybe your vote, because it was a slim few. Hallelujah. So don't ever say it don't matter, I just don't care. It's very important. Get your vote in. Hallelujah. And you check out your candidates and decide which one that you uh, think abides the closest to the Word of God. At this point, I don't really find too many to do. But that's a real problem. But nevertheless, uh, you have to make a decision and vote for one of them. And uh, if you need to, some help in deciding, you can search on the Internet. It's a wonderful tool. and give you background <coughs> history and what these people believe, what they voted for in the past, what they've done in the past to help you make your decision.